Hello, I'm Dr. Breen from the Breen Center of Optimal Health. Today, we'll be discussing different hormone testing methods, blood, urine, and saliva. Many of you watching this video instinctually feel like there could be something off with your hormones and would like them tested by your doctor. In this video, I'm going to explain the optimal method for testing hormones, whether you're a man or a woman, and what exactly to ask your doctor to test. So which is it? Blood, urine, or saliva? Over the last 13 years, I've attended dozens of medical conferences on hormone replacement to include the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, WorldLink Medical, and other age management medical groups. And I've listened to hundreds of lectures on testing hormone levels in patients. The companies that attend these conferences specialize in lab testing, and each has their own pitch as to what is best for determining your optimal hormone levels. Some recommend saliva testing because they argue it's the level in the tissues that matters the most. Others recommend checking urine and various metabolites. And then there are the doctors who recommend blood or serum testing. What I want you to understand is that the doctors who are best in the world at hormone replacement all check blood levels, which is what 90% of the published medical literature bases hormone replacement on. With the exception of getting a saliva cortisol level, I exclusively check blood levels and can tell you that it is not only the most accurate, but it is the best guide as to whether or not our treatments are effective enough to affect physiology. For example, we know in the medical literature that estradiol levels that are protective for women are in the 75 range, and in men, I like to see estradiol levels over 50. For testosterone, I like to see men in the 1000 to 1200 range and women with a free testosterone level above four. There is no urine or saliva level that we can point to in the medical literature to suggest what those levels should be. I have found both saliva and urine to be unreliable and a complete waste of time and money and do not recommend either. So what should you have checked? For men, I recommend checking blood levels of total and free testosterone, estradiol, sex hormone binding globulin, DHEA, IGF-1, FSH, LH, thyroid, to include TSH, free T3, free T4, and reverse T3, thyroid antibodies, and a morning 8 a.m. cortisol level. Some doctors also check DHT, which I've never found helpful because it never changes management. For women, I get all of the above in addition to progesterone. Now, for women, here's a really important point I want you to understand. If you are still having any menstrual periods at all, checking estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone levels is basically pointless because they will fluctuate wildly throughout the month. In the first half of the menstrual cycle, your estradiol levels can be 12 and your progesterone level is 0.3. In mid-month, when you ovulate, estradiol can spike to 450 and your progesterone levels are still at 0.4. If we check you on the 20, day 20 of your cycle, your progesterone levels can go up tenfold and your estradiol levels can drop to 80. I can't tell you how many women I see who have been told they are estrogen dominant because their estradiol levels were high and their progesterone levels were low simply because they checked their labs right before ovulation. In women who still have ovarian function, we treat symptoms more than lab values with the exception of thyroid, growth hormone levels, and cortisol. So what about estrogen metabolites? There are many doctors who check for estrogen metabolism because there are different pathways that estrogen is metabolized, and their doctor tells them that some of these metabolites are more likely to cause cancer than others, and others are protective. However, that is not all based on science. What the medical literature shows is that when you give women estradiol and progesterone, her risks of cancer do not go up. In fact, much of the research shows protection against breast and uterine cancer. So don't get caught up in checking your estrogen metabolites. Here's a key point, differentiating normal versus optimal. What's really important to understand is that for any given hormone, whether it's testosterone or thyroid, the labs have established reference ranges. They take the average of a population, calculate the median, and go up and down two standard deviations to create the range. So for testosterone, it's 347 to 1197 in younger patients. 
and then goes down as we age. For a 60-year-old male, that range is 249 to 836. For thyroid, the range for free T3 is 2.0 to 4.4. But for a younger patient, the range is 2.3 to 5.2. As physicians, we are trained to treat the number and ignore the patient. Meaning, if you have all the symptoms of low thyroid, as long as your free T3 is 2.0 or higher, they say you're normal and you don't get treatment. The same goes for testosterone in men. They go to their doctor complaining of fatigue, low sex drive, erectile dysfunction, and have a level of 415 and told they're normal. That is not what the science says to do and not even what the endocrinology textbooks say to do. In William's textbook of endocrinology, on page 15, it says it is important to keep in mind that there is not yet a consensus on what is normal, optimal, and ab abnormal levels for any given hormone or metabolite and these definitions are continuously undergoing revision to reflect the latest research. I personally have prescribed testosterone to men off-label for fatigue with quote-unquote normal levels who do absolutely fantastic. So the bottom line is this. If you want your hormone levels tested, there are two things to remember. The first is to have your levels checked by a blood draw and secondly, have them done by a doctor like myself who understands the intricacies of treating hormone imbalances and understands that normal is not optimal. If you would like for me to personally check and review your hormone levels, simply give us a call at 877-721-0047 and visit us on the web at greencenter.com. Lastly, if you enjoy this video, please click like on the button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular videos about hormone replacement and functional medicine in general. For more details and information, please contact us at 877-721-0047 or visit the FAQ section of our website at www.greencenter.com.